Gold participants and listeners from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And I'm here today with Edna Murray, who will hold a presentation for us here at Gold for the Gold Lactation Online Conference 2019. Welcome, Edna. Thank you very much, Kristen. I feel so honored to be here. Oh, it's so lovely to have you here with us today, and thank you for your time and um, sitting down here and chatting with me a little bit. And what we do here is we want to introduce you to our listeners. And so, since we have a very international audience, where in the world are you, Edna? I am in Ireland, and I'm speaking from a rural, a village. Uh, in a rural county in Ireland. So it is um, quite a rural area. So what is the weather like now? We have, uh, it's uh, March, so, so what is it outside? Is it dark yet? What time do you have over there? Well, right now it's 7 o'clock and it has turned dark. We have had unusual weather for us. Um, in the last day or so, for this time of year, um, we've had snow. Oh, that is wonderful. I don't know if it's wonderful for you because you have to deal with that <laughs> snow, <laughs> scraping the snows from the car windows and, you know, cle uh, clearing the roads and such. I'm here in South Florida, so we have quite the opposite weather. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's lovely to speak, from, uh, to, speak to um, professionals from all over the world. It brings us together here at Gold, and, and, and it's so lovely that we can le all learn from each other. The world has become so small, hasn't it? Definitely. <laughs> and gold has helped that. <laughs> yeah, gold so has brought all the professionals closer. That is that is so true. So now tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what what is your professional background and what are you up to these days? Um, my I came into breastfeeding support um, through the voluntary route. So it's when I became a mother myself that breastfeeding became so important to me that, like many others, I became a volunteer. At that stage, I was living in Britain and um, with the National Childbirth Trust. And um, then when I moved back to Ireland, Quidju is the Irish Childbirth Trust, and I moved in with Quidju. And I became an IBCLC. Now, my professional background is education, but... Um, my passion, the thing that really interests me, the, the breastfeeding and the mothering, the motherhood, is supporting of the mother. And I see it as a holistic piece. It's a transition to motherhood. It's motherhood, it's the whole thing. It's not breastfeeding, it's mother, mothering in general. I love how you said that mothering in general. It's not just breastfeeding, um, and and you know we see that sometimes that we we talk about breastfeeding often um, in the literature and maybe also amongst professionals as if it's an isolated um, activity, right? But but how you describe it, it is um, yeah, it is mothering, right? Yes, yes, it's part of it. And I like how you put the two together. Now, tell us a little bit about, I hope I pronounced this correctly, and I hope you, you helped me be earlier. We were chatting earlier before the recording, so I hope I get this right. Is it the Cute You, the Childbirth Trust? Tell us a little bit about it. What is it? How does it work? Quidju, uh, the Irish Childbirth Trust, um, is a voluntary mother-to-mother -mother organization. And there are three main sections to it. There is um, the breastfeeding counselling, which is me, and um, there are antenatal teachers, so you have trained antenatal teachers who um, provide education to pregnant couples, and there is the postnatal support groups, general postnatal support groups, so you have two types of those. Uh, you have particularly trained postnatal supporters and also you have plenty of mother-to-mother, mums-to-babes groups and just meeting up in the local library. I say that just, uh, but it there is nothing 
just about it at all. There is nothing belittling about it at all because the community that is provided by groups like Quidju, who just provide a venue, um, it's just of a measurable importance to the new mother. Absolutely, and I like how you described it as it, it starts prenatally before, you know, um, with, is it like childbirth education that they get and, and parenting classes? And then they yeah. have, oh, yeah. wonderful. And then they have, of course, the uh, lactation support and postpartum support and then the the groups as well. Sounds sounds absolutely lovely and um, it's wonderful work that you're doing there. I like to think that it is. It's uh, it's an organization, I think it covers the whole gamut mm -hmm. of um, parenthood. Wonderful. Now, speaking of parenthood and mothering, and let's talk about your topic that you will be presenting on. Very exciting, and you, the title of your presentation is Mothering Experiences, the Development of Self-Efficacy in First-Time Mothers. So tell me a little about the topic, what you will be presenting on, and how did this come about? How did this become of special interest to you? Um, well, it was part... It's. Uh, was a dissertation as part of an MA that I did a couple of years ago and um, I decided that the subject matter was the one that interested me most was the transition to motherhood so you have it, it, it I, I'm not dealing with the transition to fatherhood um, not that I don't think it is important it's extremely important but um, this is the transition to motherhood um, because first you have a mother who or usually uh, in the workplace and very busy and then she is in a totally different situation. She is a newborn baby. She may be used to babies, she may be not. It's a huge learning curve. And um, I decided to focus my dissertation about that and it is a qualitative, it qualitative piece of research, um, mainly based on interviews with women, extended semi-structured interviews with women. Wonderful. And how did you find your interview subject to subjects? Um, it's an interesting one. <laughs> how did I decide my topic? Yeah. Yes. Um, I think it decided itself. <laughs> Because it's what I did, right? Because right. it's what it's um, what I'm about, mm. so to speak. Well, um, it, as I said to you before, it's the whole piece of yeah. the supporting the mother mm. um, in the you know, where she is that um, is important to me. When when you did your research. Um, did you come up with something that absolutely surprised you or were your assumptions kind of affirmed or reaffirmed or did you end up saying, huh, that is new to me, that is interesting or, you know. Um, I, did I come up with something that was new? I think I have come up with a different way of looking at things. And for that, Kristen, I'm going to leave it for the presentation. Oh, that is a good answer. I like that answer because we want <laughs> we want our listeners to attend the presentation. I'm very, very excited about it. And um, thank you so much, Edna, to sit down with me here and chatting about a little bit about where you're located in rural Ireland. I still have to visit that country. <laughs> I would love to. And talking about your pr um, presentation here. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And thank you, Kristen. And uh, this presentation titled Mothering Experiences, the Development of Self-Efficacy in First-Time Mothers is part of the Gold Lactation Online Conference 2019. And this is to our listeners. Now, if you want to find out more about this presentation, this presentation will be live on April the 8th depending on what time zone or country you live in, you may want to check this out on the website, and that is goldlectation.com. Thank you, everyone, for listening here today. Bye-bye.